Right. So, all the practices this week and this one in particular are going to be focused around balance. The second of the Yoga Sutras is Yoga Chitti Bhakti Naroda, which means yoga is instilling the fluctuations of the mind. And one of the ways that we can do that is to come into a space of observation, to just notice exactly what is happening and position ourselves in a way that allows us to realize that we are not fluctuations, we are the observation of them. So if you have the oil, go ahead and um, rub the palms together. Come to a comfortable seat. Hold the palms close to the face, let the eyes close gently, breathe in deeply. And out through the mouth. Two more times like that, and through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one. You can leave the palms up close where you can smell the scent more if that feels right. And when you're ready, go ahead and let the hands rest on the knees. Let the breathing come back to its natural rhythm and pattern. And just notice your body, the bones and the muscles. Locate the edges, the physical structures of your body. Become aware of your positionality as it relates to everything in your space, everything that surrounds you, where the floor is, the ceiling, the walls. Attune to your senses. Bring awareness to the mind. With an energy of observation, doing your best to simply notice what is the mind making all of that information mean? We're going to practice a few moments of breath with mudra. It's the prana apana. So this is the movement of vital force, life force energy through the body. The hands are going to stay down. Um, but for the first one, you're going to bring the thumb with the pinky and the ring finger together and stretch out the pointer finger and the middle finger and rest the backs of the palms on the knees or the thighs. And as you inhale, feel a sensation of energy rising from the base of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale normally. And do that three more times just to attune to the sensation. Energy rising with the inhalation. The connection between the thumb and the ring and pinky fingers is sort of light. It's an energetic connection. It's not pressing and the other fingers are still. And now the next inhalation, pause, and you'll take the middle finger and the ring finger with the thumb, stretch out the index and the pinky finger, face the fingers downward, get the palms downward. As you exhale, Feel the energy moving down into the earth. And inhaling. Exhale. Feel the sensation of movement through the crown of the head, down the spine, and into the earth. Well, now we'll put those together. As you inhale, Turn the palms towards the sky, ring and pinky finger together, energy moving up. As you exhale, middle and ring finger connect with the thumb, palms face down, energy moves into the earth. And if it's confusing or you get lost, don't worry about it. Being with the sensation of the breath is the most important part. Inhaling, energy moves up. Exhale, palms and energy down. And 
you can further intensify the introspection, the focus of the mind by taking the thumb to the back of the soft palate. And the gaze, even though the eyes are closed, towards the center of the forehead. Allow the breath to become balanced. as deep and smooth as you're able to find in this moment. And for these last five or so rounds, depending on the speed of your breath, you can feel invited to add the mantra, so mom. So on the inhale, hum on the exhale. And you can say that out loud. Or simply feel the vibration through the body. Last two seconds. Release the mudra. And allow the palms to face down on the knees. Leave the eyes closed. Inhale, reach the heart up, chin up. Exhale, round the spine, chin towards the chest. Again, inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, belly towards spine, three more times. Notice the extension or the expansion of the breath as you stretch and make space. Do the low back. Last two. Final cycle like that. Come to neutral. Inhale, hands overhead. The eyes can blink open at whatever point feels good and right to you. Hold on to the left wrist with the right hand. As you exhale, gently stretch the body towards the right side. Straighten the elbows as much as is possible. Inhale up through center. Switch the wrist you're holding on to. Exhale in the other direction. Now, as we're moving through these postures, feel yourself rooting down. Allow your body to become heavy. One more time like that on each side, coming up through center with the inhalation. Stretching with the exhale. Come up through center, stretch and reach. Arms out at a 60 degree angle. Maybe look up and open the chest. Maybe open, 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 open. And then exhale. Bring hands together toward heart center, or you can have both on the heart, or heart and belly, whatever feels connected to you. Allow the eyes to close gently or the focus to soften. You connect now with the God of your own understanding, with that deepest sense inside of you, that you are more than the moments that you experience. You are more than the shape of your body, or the surroundings that you find yourself in. Connect to that sense. And from that place, set an intention 
for your practice, perhaps for the way you will welcome moments beyond this practice. And I'll offer for all of us as a joint intention that we might find ourselves willing to cultivate a deep understanding of the ways in which we experience this life that we might be able to discern. We might be able to experience with joy, if not happiness, the absolute miracle that we are even alive. We might relinquish the need to control. That we might forgive. That we might find faith. That we might find peace. And we'll seal it with one own and do the notes. Deep breath in. Go away out. Come on to my hands and knees, Steve. So spread your fingers out nice and wide. Plant the palms firmly. You might even press into the fingertips and feel a slight lift in the center of the palm. Press down through the tops of the feet. Inhale, reach the heart forward and reach the belly down, but you're not really matching the neck up, right? It's leaning thing. As you exhale, round the spine. One more time like that. Press down through the tops of the feet. And now this time as you inhale, <clears throat> come forward, exhale, lower down. Inhale, heart reaches. Use mostly the strength of the back. Exhale, child's pose. Arms are strong, extended. You can even come up out of the fingertips if you want to. Inhale up. Exhale, hips down, heart down. Inhale, heart rises. Exhale, hips back. Child's pose. Three more like that. Connecting to the breath. I find that it's really, really helpful sometimes to close my eyes once I've got the sequence of movements down. Because it helps me to connect more with the sensation. To observe more the fluctuations of the mind, right? Rest in child's pose for a full cycle of breath. Come onto the fingertips. Exhale completely. Inhale, walk the fingers forward a little bit more. And as you exhale, walk the hands towards the right side. Just take them as far over to the right as you can. I want you to breathe into the side body as if you could breathe between each of the fibers of muscle, as if each of the cells could breathe. Spaces in between the ribs. Hips are still heavy. One more full cycle of breath there. And then come through center. Let the breath be the guide. Lengthen with an inhalation. And with an exhalation, take it in the opposite direction. Notice the wanderings of the mind, but notice them like you would notice, I don't know, some people talking, okay? Having a really interesting conversation that you don't feel any need to be involved in, really. Something curious. Last breath. 
Find your way back to center. Take a breath in the middle, let your head relax to just feel how the body's feeling. And then bring the hands forward, tuck the toes, exhale into downward facing dog. Now you can bend and straighten each of the legs or both of them together. If you choose to bend the knees, what I want you to do <clears throat> is let the hips go really high and the thighs come close to the belly, right? So it's more like this sort of scenario, yeah, than this one, right? So not coming forward into the arms, reaching back through the arms, creating space between the ears and the shoulders. Last time. Look towards the top of the mat. With an inhale, maybe come up onto your toes, maybe bend the knees. Exhale, find your way to the top of the mat. Find a flat back, breathe in deeply. Extend the neck, tuck the chin slightly. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands open. You can look up if it feels good. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Lead with the heart. Flat back, inhale deeply. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Hands at heart center. Inhale, last time. Hands up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, full breath. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, breathe in deeply. Exhale, bring hands to a space of connection. Might be heart center, might be heart and belly, might be something entirely different. Come back to your intention. And for this bit of inquiry, just notice the sensations that arise in your body that go with your intention. Instead of just knowing in your mind what peaceful or forgiving is, feel it in your body. What does your intention feel like on a sensory level? Stay in inquiry about that as we move through this next sequence of poses. Hands to the sky, breathe in deeply. Fold forward, breathe out completely. Flat back, inhale. Leave the right foot where it is, step the left leg back. You can drop down onto the knee. If that's too much for your knees, stay up. Inhale, hands up. Hook the thumbs, exhale, bend elbows. Inhale, hands rise. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step the right leg back. Lower down, halfway or all the way. Lift the heart up as you breathe in. Exhale into downward facing dog, moving through child's pose if that's better for your body today. In through the nose. Out through the nose on that. Two more. You can come up on the tiptoes with the inhale, that feels good. Exhale, heels down. Last one. Look towards the top of the mat with the inhale. Step the left foot forward. Come down on the right knee. Hands up towards the sky, hook opposite thumbs. Exhale, bend elbows, heart reaches up. Inhale, hands reach. Exhale, hands to the earth, step right foot forward. Fold. Flat back, breathe in. 
Exhale, fold deeply. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center or space of connection. Take a moment to notice now as it relates to your intention, the points where you have fear or confusion or doubt, okay? The original fear, the one that gives birth to um, all the other suffering, is the fear of death, which we often understand to mean death of a physical body, but it's much more than that. So locate your fear. Be an observation of that, curiously. And to the sky, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Modulate the breath, flat back, inhale. Exhale, left leg back. Stay up, straight leg, strong. Hands towards the sky, breathe in. Hook the thumbs if possible. Lift the heart. Next inhale, hands towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step the right leg back, high plank. Lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Just lift the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Last side. Lengthen and prepare as you inhale. Step left foot forward as you exhale. Inhale, hands towards the sky. Thumbs hook. Exhale. Look up. Bend elbows. With the next breath in, straighten the spine. Step the right foot forward. Exhale, fold. Breathe in. Flat back. Breathe out. Fold forward. Hold on to whatever feels good, right? So you can hold on to the big toes. You can slip the hands under. You can hold on to the calves. It doesn't matter where you're holding, but I want you to find some sensation of uh, balance, right? So versus just kind of folding, you're gonna straighten the spine and reach the heart forward and create some tensioning in the arms. Shoulders move away from the ears versus up, shoulder blades down the spine. You're looking forward, but not to the point where you're bending your neck, right? The neck is an extension to the chin slightly tucks. Breathe all the way in for the count of four. Three, two, one, out. Four, three, two, one. Two more like that. Breathe in, 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 and out. Out, out, out. Last one. And then breathe all the way in. And as you exhale, release that. Shake it out if it feels good. Bend the knees. Hands to the sky. Inhale. So <clears throat> sink the weight into the heels sufficiently that you can feel the weight of you moving back into the heels. Okay. Lift up on the toes. Mm -hmm. I'm more interested in there being presence and stacking in the body than you being way, way down, right? So just get back as far as it feels possible while you maintain your breath. Rotate the pinky fingers in towards one another, working towards biceps, and line with the ears. Full breath in. Exhale, rise to standing. 
Interlace hands behind the back. Roll shoulders back and down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down, shift towards chest. Two more like that. Last one. Release, roll the shoulders out, come back to that space of reflection of your intention, right? Back to you internally, back to your breath. Again, take note of where within you the resistance lies. Not from the space of wrongness, of guilt, of shame, just from a space of awareness. There is a saying that the unseen blade is the sharpest. And so a lot of the practices that we develop in yoga are practices of awareness. A lot of the practices of learning to be with what we become aware of. So again, stay with that observation. Hands to the sky, inhale. Sink hips, exhale. Working with the breath now, look up, inhale. Stretch the arms, exhale. And you stay bent for the count of four. You reach down. Inhale for the count of four. You need to stay bent. Back into chair pose. Exhale for four. You need to stay bent. Inhale for five. Rise back up in the chair. We're almost there. Exhale for four. Keep the breath steady. If you need to stop at any point, stop there. Inhale for six. Exhale for four. Observe the moment. Inhale for seven. Out for four. And lastly, eight. Stay there for inhale, rise. Relax the arms alongside the body or heart and belly. And just feel yourself. One more breath here. Inhale, hands up. Stretch them really wide. Exhale, fold. Make a flat back, breathe in deeply. As you exhale, step the right foot or the left foot back. <laughs> Stay on the ball of that foot. Inhale, stretch the heart forward, shoulder blades down the side. Exhale, straighten the right knee in and out. You can tuck the chin, you can down the spine. Inhale, look forward. Stay with that four to four count. Exhale, straighten. One more time. Bend the right knee. Right hand on the earth. Left hand reaches up. As you exhale, take the right hand alongside the body. Inhale, reach it up, maybe even bowing the side of the ribs. Exhale, take it down alongside the body. Two more times. Last one. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale down to the earth, walk towards center, parallel the feet. Make a flat back, breathe in. Exhale, fold. 
yogi choice for a couple of breaths, so you can do whatever feels good in your body. So, and then come back to awareness, to community, flat back, inhale. As you exhale, turn the left toes toward the opposite side of the mat. Ball the right foot, reaching the chest forward. Full breath in. Exhale. Straighten. Two more. Last one. Straighten <clears throat> with the right hand down, the left hand reaches up. If it's hard on your wrist, you can come up under the fingertips. And if it's too far, you can use a block. As you exhale, hand comes along the body. Inhale, reach up. Maybe the ribs open or bow a little bit. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hand down to the earth, parallel the feet once more. This time, walk the hands towards even with the feet. You can turn them so the fingertips face the opposite way and walk further back between the legs, if that feels good to you. And as you inhale, bend the knees, reach the heart forward. As you exhale, straighten the legs, fold a little more deeply. One more time like that. Walk hands back under the shoulders, turn the right toes towards uh, the center of that side of the mat. But don't come up. Keep the left toes facing directly out. The right heel, if you drew a line, should go right through the center of the left foot behind you. You can come elbow to knee, okay? or you can come hand to the earth. Left hand up. Relax the breath. If it feels good to you, you can take the top hand and bring it behind the body. First step is alongside. If you wanted to, you can tuck it in between the body and the thigh. If that feels good to you and your hand is on the earth, then you can think about wrapping the hand underneath and holding on. But it doesn't make it better. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Nothing magical happens. So you just find the edge of your sensation today. Take one more full cycle of breath. On the next inhalation, rise up into warrior two. Take the right palm face up, inhale. And as you exhale, turn your gaze and your palm. So now your left palm is face up. And as you inhale, you're expanding. Visualize a ball of energy moving like you're flicking it over. And as you exhale, let it be your right hand. Again, inhale, open up the chest, the heart. Exhale, send that ball of energy all the way to the left hand. Two more times. Last one. Come back to center, straighten the right knee. Keep that toe turned slightly out, bring the left heel in. 
bend for knees. Elbows bend as well. Perfect. Bring the thumb and the first finger together. This is Gyanam Mudra, wisdom. It symbolizes the coming together of divinity and humanity. Consider for a moment as we go deep into our seat, right? experiencing grounding from an energetic level, the root is where um, our sense of stability resides, survivability. It is also where fear originates. So feel yourself centered, connected to both divinity and humanity, experiencing in this body, the experience of being human. Not because that's what you are, solely, but because that's what you have access to. Three more breaths. Take it to a place of sensation. Keep your breath calm and relaxed. Last one. Straighten the legs, turn the toes towards one another, bring the hands behind the spine, interlace the fingers, roll the heart up, look up if it feels good, exhale, fold forward. Arms can rent overhead. A few more breaths. Last one. Come up halfway. Release hands to the earth under the shoulders. Turn the left toes towards that side of the mat. Check that the heel bisects the arch of the right foot as you bend the left knee. Again, options are hand on the earth or elbow to knee. Shoulders stack. Right hand reaches towards the sky. A tendency can be to kind of lean into the shoulders, so really make sure that you're lengthening through the entirety of the body in every direction. Again, you have options here. If the hand is on the ground, you can move the right hand behind you, tuck it in, or take a bind. You can take a bind today. Breathe. Two more. Feel the left knee tracking towards the second, third toe. Breathe down through the entire knee, the right foot. On the next inhalation, come up into warrior two. Stack the shoulders over the hips. Soften the breath. Palm face up, inhale, expand the chest. And as you exhale, imagine that ball of energy moving alongside the shoulders or along the plane of the shoulders. Inhale, and as you exhale, right palm down, left palm up as the gaze changes. Three more. Last one. Straighten the left knee, both toes out, uh, knees, or sorry, heels in. <laughs> Bend your knees and take place your hands on them. <laughs> so you're creating a sense of traction. Let the hips be nice and low. <laughs> take a full deep breath in. And as you exhale, rotate the torso and drop the right shoulder in. Inhale up through center. Exhale, other direction. Two more times on each side.
Last one. Okay, come to center. Lift the hands up. Palms together, crown of the head, full breath in. Exhale, straighten the legs. Turn the toes parallel to each other. Shake it out. Step the feet together. You can shake them in a bunch of directions, right? So we kind of move energy, pull it up to the surface, and then we get to be with it. <laughs> we get to notice the fluctuations of the mind. <clears throat> Step to the front of the mat, or you can stay centered, <laughs> whatever works for you. We're gonna take one final balance. So shift the weight into the left foot. Take the right foot and place it inside of the left thigh, calf, or make a little kickstand, have it on the floor. Okay. Take the right hand and place it palm facing up on the right knee if that's possible. Bring the the uh, ring finger and pinky finger together. <laughs> and then take the other hand up. Ring finger and pinky finger together. As you inhale, feel the lengthening of energy. Expanding in every direction. Optionally, you can take a little bit of an opening in the torso by leaning towards the right side. If you're choosing to do that, make sure that if there's any rotation of the torso, it's not downward, it's upward towards the sky. Position the neck in such a way that it's okay, <laughs> feels good, feels like an extension, but not effortful. Take one more breath, and then come to center. Release, hands come to rest, whatever feels right. Gaze is soft. Tap into the breath if you've lost that focus. Come back to your attention if you've lost that focus. Find some stillness, put it down. When you feel ready to, shift the weight into the right foot. Gaze is on something steady. Bring the sole of the left foot wherever it feels good and right. Again, making that connection. Arm extends if possible. Right hand up this time. Just go with what feels good in your body, right? Take it to the edge of what's possible for you. Again, these shapes exist to give us a window. This is why I prefer not to refer to things as advanced. There's no like special advanced thing that happens, right? It's finding the edge of your awareness. Take two more breaths, please. And then, then come out of it with as much Grace as is possible. Arms alongside the body. Standing firm. Because we are in some shared times of uncertainty, we're going to take these next couple of minutes to instigate changes in the chemical makeup of our body beyond what we've already done, that we might feel more confident, right? So open your hands up, like a 60 degree, right? Uh -huh. And you can stay flat on your feet if that feels good, or you can come up onto your tiptoes, you can come back and forth between those, right? I used to like to wear them, so kind of, I guess, like to call this uh, the queen of the world, the king of the world pose. Just start to open up, right? 
feel that sensation of confidence. Follow those things that feel overwhelming to even think about, becoming more in focus. The point where you can see the edges of those things as clearly as you can see the edges of your own body in a mirror. You can touch and observe them with your senses and with your awareness in the same way that you can touch and observe the fur of a dog, right? Or the sunshine on your skin. Extend, notice that the shoulders start to come up towards the ears, relax them down. Take two more breaths. Get as big as you possibly can. And then slowly and gently release the arms alongside the body. Resist the temptation to make yourself small this time by hugging yourself. Instead, just let yourself come back to a neutral position and feel the expansion that's um, kind of stayed in the chest and in the heart. Maintain that as we move down to the earth. Feel this lifted, expanded, taller, wider, broader sense of awareness in your body, even as you come down to the earth. So if you're not already there, step to the front of the mat. Bring the arms in front of you. Like if you're holding a giant basket, right? And begin to bend the knees, soften the gaze, soften the jaw. And very slowly, mindfully, lower yourself down to the earth. Once the butt touches the ground, you can come into your version of bow, whatever that is, right? So it could be straight, it could be bent, it could be hands. You can have your hands on the earth. You just find your version. Take a full breath in, all the way up. One more time, full expression. And then as you exhale, slowly lower yourself down to the earth. Relax the spine. Let the eyes close. Come to a space of conscious gratitude. It doesn't have to be for anything big. It can be gratitude for the breath in your lungs. It can be gratitude for the squirrels running around in the tree. That's something I'm really grateful for today. The birds chirping. There's no wrong, no right. But the encouragement is that you let that gratitude extend beyond those things that are easy to feel thankful for. And inviting inclusion of those things that are more difficult. We've got to allow ourselves to realize that these times give us an opportunity to explore what it is to exist to choose how we do that. This is when we get to practice, truly practice, in a very, very deep way. It's no longer some idea that we say we believe in, or that we say we would do when challenged. It's an opportunity where we're challenged and we get to actually do the thing, we get to be what we say we intend to be. You can stay right here if this feels supportive to you. If you feel called to move into a heart opener, you have a couple of options. You can bring a block or a couple of books if you have it, and just lift up your hips and place it beneath. Nice restorative. Bridge pose. Optionally, you can bring the feet as close to the body as is possible for you. On an inhale, push down into the feet, lift the heart up, slight stretch in the neck, bring the arms underneath, roll onto the shoulder pads. 
Clasp the fingers, move the palms towards one another. Use the strength of the legs to rise the hips. Breathe with the energy of gratitude. If that feels good for you, you can stay there. If you'd like to take a full wheel, you'll have the half, this bottom half of your body arranged exactly the same way, but bring the hands alongside the head, wrists, and elbows in line with shoulders and ears. As you inhale, push the earth away. Work towards reaching the heart through the plane of the shoulders. Relax the head. Press all of the toes and the fingers down into the earth. Take two more breaths wherever you've chosen to be. Slowly and gently tuck the chin in towards the chest if you're all the way up. Let the hips come to rest. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Hug them in. Optionally, you can resist against the hands as you inhale. And as you exhale, roll up. One more time. Place the feet on the earth, pick the hips up, shift them two inches to the right. Now, if you like to cross the legs for a little bit of added sensation, you can do that. Or you can lay the knees together and take a supine twist. So as you exhale, let both knees, whether they're crossed or not, fall across the body towards the left side. Right arm stretches out, palm face down if possible. Gaze can either be straight up or towards the right arm or hand. You can use the left hand to gently guide the right hip away from the right shoulder. Deep breaths. Soften the facial muscle. Last one. Come back to center with an inhale. Hips back into a neutral position. Give yourself a breath. But just be aware of the way you're feeling. Push down into the earth, shift the hips towards the left. Make your choice. And then as you exhale, open onto the other side. And left palm can face the earth. Gaze is either straight up or towards the left hand. Right hand can gently guide left hip away from left shoulder. Two more breaths, please. And then gently come to center. Let the feet be as wide as the mat, and just slowly rock the knees from side to side a few times. We're bringing the feet towards one another. Let the knees fall out wide. Sutta Vajnata. Optionally, you can take the arms overhead. And you can hold on to the elbows or let them be long. Let the eyes gently close. The closer to your body your heels are, <clears throat> the more you might feel in the hips or the legs, depending on the structures of your body and the side of the 
Find that sweet spot where you're able to feel a certain level of sensation. I'm gonna offer you in this moment as we take our final sort of few breaths in an active posture. I'm tapping into the space of the hips, which are a really powerful storehouse for feelings of scarcity and fear, but also of belonging. that the meaning of life, literally what it means to be alive, is that a thing has the capacity for continuous growth and change. Continuous growth and change means that things that were will no longer be, and things that are not will come into existence into awareness. The transition between those two states can be uncomfortable, can be painful, can be challenging. It can also be beautiful and simple and smooth. All of that is secondary though to the understanding that we are not the change we are not the sensation, whether we define it as pleasant or unpleasant. We are that which is experiencing. We are the consciousness. The vessel through which life moves. From that perspective, it becomes a little bit easier to soften, to find space, compassion, and acceptance. And whatever it is that we need to remember in order to lessen our struggle. use the suffering. As they say pain is inevitable, suffering is not. Take two more breaths, please. If this feels really, really wonderful to you and you do not want to move, you're welcome to stay here. Otherwise, you bring your hands alongside the thigh, help the knees in towards center. The man feels good to your tuck, the tailbone a couple of times. And it might feel good to hug the knees in towards the chest. Perhaps to straighten the legs and reach through the heels. Do what feels needed to soothe and cleanse that from the body before stretching the legs and the arms out. Taking up space, open your palms towards the sky. Relax the shoulders down the spine. As we move into Shavasana, take these final few cycles of breath, optionally. Creating tension on the inhalation, releasing on the exhalation. Breathe in through the mouth, tighten. Out through the mouth, soften and release. In through the mouth, tighten, 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 tighten. 
Out through the nose, soften in the knees. In through the nose, tighten. Out through the nose, soften in the knees. Finally, in through the nose, tighten, tighten, tighten everything. Out through the mouth. Surrender into stillness. Shavasana. Allow the breath to be calm and still. Allow yourself to soften into the arms of the earth beneath you. As a small child would into the arms of a loved and trusted caregiver. Nurture. Safety and comfort. Connect the essence of ease, of softness, remember what it feels like. Know you are loved. That you are valuable. That you have within you everything you need. To connect sense of stillness. Allow your knowings to rise to your awareness. What do you most need to remember right now to support your life and your continuous transformation and growth? The truths you freely with guidance. Trust
deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Allow the eyes to stay closed and the body to stay connected to that sense of peaceful surrender. And begin to awaken, starting at the extremities, feeling the fingers and the toes as the breath flows deeper and deeper. Wiggling, stretching. Until eventually the arms reach overhead and take a full body yawn. Eventually coming to rest on the right hand side. Arms and a pillow. Taking a moment to savor the transition, really truly savor it. Acknowledge whatever new awarenesses you have, renew or reestablish your intention before lifting yourself up as if you were the most precious thing you can imagine. Finding your way into an upright position that honors your existence. With your spine tall, And your shoulders relaxed, your jaw soft, the eyes relaxed, even though they're closed. Feel the sensation of being grounded, but also expansive. Inhale hands towards the sky, reaching towards divinity. Exhale, drawing that down towards the crown of the head. And then to the heart. Inhale, open arms out wide. It's a gesture of acceptance, welcoming of humanity. Palms come together at the heart. One more time. Inhale, sweep hands up towards the sky. Maybe even allowing your heart to rise. Exhale, drawing all of that divine awareness down into the heart. Arms open wide, accepting and perceiving the experience of being human, drawing all of that into the heart, the space, the heart space. May we move from that glorious, beautiful space of openness, of forgiveness, compassion, faith, a balance spot within us between divinity and humanity. The love and the light and the truth within me recognizes, honors, and bows with deep gratitude and humanity. To all the love and the light and the truth within you, we are one. Namaste.